Hey everyone, it's Gabriel here again and in this video I'll be revealing a simple funnel strategy that we use to get quality leads for any kind of high ticket sales. Our clients and our students from different industries have been able to close multiple seven figure sales even if they were a complete beginner with digital marketing. So it doesn't matter if you are real estate, insurance, investment, health, fitness, as long as you need quality leads for any kind of high ticket sales, then this funnel is for you. Now, people usually pay thousands of dollars to learn what I'm going to review for free. So I really appreciate the early thumbs up to keep this channel going. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. Every week I post videos on three topics, business, investing, and productivity. I share things like how I scale multiple seven and eight figure businesses online and what I'm currently investing, including cryptocurrencies and productivity hacks to do more with less without any motivation. So if you're into any of that stuff, please consider subscribing. Okay, so this funnel strategy is actually really simple. And right now I'm gonna do a quick recap from one of my previous video called Digital Marketing 101. And I'm gonna put a link somewhere here, you know, for you to watch it and the link in the description below as well. Uh, I mentioned in that video, there's only four steps to digital marketing. You just need to master four simple steps. And the four steps right here uh, on my screen is called gather, capture, nurture, close. So gathering is where is the traffic, right? Where are the people? Where are you gathering the people? And then um, once you gather the people, you want to send them into a, 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 web, a web page or a sales funnel where you capture that information, right? Because when you only if you capture the information, uh, this leads or this, uh, uh, this database belongs to you, right? When you have followers on Facebook, you don't actually own the followers, right? Facebook owns it for you. And, um, you know, we have heard story, horror stories of how, you know, people accounts getting shut down for absolutely no reason. So the best bet is on yourself, right? Where you actually capture their, their details. And usually the details will be like email, uh, phone numbers, and any other information that's relevant to your business. So it's capturing and then nurture, right? We all know that the sales comes from the nurturing. It's not just gathering people and then capture them and try to close them, right? So a lot of times we have to nurture them. We have to let them know uh, why you're the expert, why you're the authority, why, they sh why should they even listen to you? And a lot of times the nurturing part comes from value adding, right? Where, you know, you share with them a free video where you share with them, um, you know, certain things related to the industry, you know, just like this video right now, this is an example of a nurturing process, right? The, the, the chances of you coming to this uh, channel uh, is highly likely, you know, I mean, you came, maybe some of you came from a YouTube recommended video, uh, which is a way for me to gather. But at the same time, some of you came here through my Telegram group, came here through my emails, uh, because you saw my email, you know, you, you came for one of my stuff before I kept capture information and now I'm sending you content, right? So this is part of the nurturing process. And then eventually uh, close where you um, push them into a product that you are selling. So uh, in that video, I shared that like a lot of people focus so much on the gathering, right? They focus so much on like, they, they got so worked up with Facebook ads, Instagram, YouTube, uh, TikTok, and, and try to always chase the traffic, chase the game, uh, chase where the traffic is. But honestly, what's important is the capturing and the nurturing part. These are the two most, most important things because um, with this strategy I'm gonna share with you right now, it's actually focusing on the capturing uh, and this funnel strategy has allowed some of our clients and our students to actually run Facebook ads and their ads is just simply broad targeting. And when I mean broad targeting, it means that it's just a campaign and in the ad set, there's no targeting at all. That means in the targeting where we, where we can put in different interests, like, you know, you can target uh, uh, marketers, you can target uh, CEOs, you can target moms. We literally just put nothing and we can get the cheapest cost per lead, okay? And it's because of the capturing process. It's not so much on the gathering process. So with this method, you can run ads and you can even put no targeting and you're able, especially if you're in a small city area, you're able to get cheap cost per lead and high quality leads. Okay, so this funnel I'm gonna share with you today is called a high ticket application funnel. And the funnel is very simple, right? It's not a website. A website is where you send people into a web page where it has a lot of different buttons, a lot of different function, like about us, contact us, uh, you know, our mission, our mission. Honestly, nobody cares, right? Uh, the truth is that a confused mind always says no. There's something that I learned from uh, Russell Brunson uh, back in the day. And when you send people to a website, right? There's so many functions, there's so many buttons to click. People get confused. And therefore the only thing they click is close tab. So what you wanna do is to send them to a funnel instead, right? So a funnel is a step-by-step -step process. And this is a high ticket application funnel. So this is an example of the first page, right? So this is how it looks like. First page, there's no about us, contact us, none of that stuff, right? It's just one objective. And the objective is to get them to click on this button here where it will, there will be a pop-up. Uh, later, I'll show, you, I'll, I'll, I'll show you a live demonstration of this funnel. Um, but the idea is that you wanna get, get them to click on this button, put in the email address where you capture the information. And then 
you send them to a page where you show them a short video and you get them to free up a form. So this is why we call it a high ticket application funnel. Now, when someone free up their email address, they are not considered a lead yet. There will be some email sequence where we will send them a bunch of email sequence to nurture them. However, I will not call any of these leads, okay? Uh, because they are not that quality yet. So what we did was that we sent them into a page where it has an, an application form where we ask them questions that is related to uh, whatever that, that we want to ask, right? What related to our own business, related to your closing process, right? So if you're in real estate, you can ask questions related to real estate. If you are in financial planning, you can ask questions related to the financial planning, right? If you are in uh, you know weight loss or you're in health and supplement, you can ask questions like what's your weight, what's your what's your ideal weight, and all these questions that are related to your industry. Okay? So this is how it looks like. Um, two page, and then once they fill up the form, you'll lead them to a simple thank you page. Simple three page, uh, this funnel actually got me my first million dollars uh, combined with a retargeting strategy that I shared in my previous video. I'll, I'll link the link, I'll put the link up here or somewhere in the description below. So simple like simple funnel like this, and you can use this for any industry you want. So I'm gonna show you some examples. I can't show you a lot of examples because uh, I wanna keep this video short. Uh, I'm just gonna show you two biggest example or two biggest industry that my companies are uh, my company is always in okay and that is uh, real estate and financial planning i use this myself for agency right so if you are an agency you sell coaching right it's the same thing right so this is the same thing right so i, I use this to uh, to get high quality clients for agency so before i jump on the call uh with with people who want to work with me i get them to free up this entire application uh and then back by then i will be able to know more about our business i will know how to be able to close better uh, but more importantly i'm able to filter out the people who are not serious. I mean, imagine if people who are just filling up just one word or they don't even bother to fill up anything, would you want to call people like that? Would you want to waste time on people like that, right? So what happens is that this funnel actually helps you to save time because it helps you to filter out the people who are really serious to work with you and people who are not, okay? So uh, we have done it for uh, financial planning before. This is one of my uh, client's funnel. Now I don't have permission uh, because this is a last minute video. I didn't, have, I didn't have asked for permission to share uh, her, her entire structure. Uh, but so whatever I'm sharing with you are just things that you can find online because this is like website that you can you can basically find online. I'm just taking a screenshot of it. So I can't share with you her results, but all I can say is that uh, she we applied this funnel for her and she's now with us, our agency, for about uh, more than a year so far. She just renewed her contract and our contract is not cheap. It will cost you about $5,000 to $10,000 a month just to work with us. And she decided to renew her contract after the first year. So I think that says a lot about the results that she's getting. So in short, very simple, first page, right? Simple uh, headline here, how to retire 10 to 15 years earlier. Uh, nowadays, a lot of people are using this um, headline that we have uh, first used. Um, and then there's a short video and then why work with her. Later, I'll show you a, a real example and run through. Um, and then once people click on this cover, if you qualify, you'll go to a second page. And this is where you ask them questions related to uh, her industry, right? Like what's your age, what's your annual income, uh, what's your range of net worth, so on and so forth. So this helps her to number one, filter out the right kind of leads. And number two, uh, to know how to close these leads later on when they jump on the call. Uh, and then after that, you, you will reach uh, once they fill up this form, you, uh, you will bring them into the last page, which is like a thank you, congratulation page, where you give them a few steps uh, of what they need to do um, before your sales team give them a call, okay? So very simple, three simple page, right? So we use this for property as well. First page, second page, right? And then there's a, there's a simple form here. And normally when I share this, right, what most people would say is like, will people actually fill up forms like that? Like, would it be expensive to get people to fill up, fill up forms like that? I think, um, so I just wanna let you know that like, in order to get a cost per application fee, we just, we call it cost per application fee, we didn't, we didn't just call it cost per lead. Um, it will usually cost you about $20, a range of $20 to $50, depending on your industry. And that is still amazing because if you can get 10 people who fill up an application uh, and it, it costs you $50 per application, that's 500 for 10 solid application. And again, these are not low quality spam leads. These are leads that actually fill up the application. And again, it helps you to save time because you don't have to call them one by one to filter out the spam leads. You can actually look through the application and see whether they're serious or not. And you can also look through the application to see who, who is qualified to work with you because sometimes you know you, you have, you have um, prospects that doesn't qualify to certain criteria of, of who you want to work with. So it actually helps you to save a lot of time. But the other thing is that it, if someone is willing to fill up all these questions in order to jump on a call with you, it shows how serious are they, right? It shows how serious they are to work with you, which also means that the closing rate is also higher. So let's just assume that if you have 10 applications and you can close one sale, just one sale, 
And again, you know, it depends on what you're selling. That's why this only works for high ticket sales, where you sell something that's above $3,000, $4,000, $5,000, right? So this is property in Singapore. The minimum uh, average property price is a million dollars. So imagine that if you can have 10 application or 20 application and you close with one, uh, one sale, right? One million dollar deal, um, that will be easily a 30 to 40 thousand dollars commission, 30 to 40 grand commission in Singapore here. So imagine if you pay, you know, 10 application, that's $500. 20 application, that's $1,000. So if you if you pay $1,000 for 20 application and you can close one sale that makes you 20, 30 grand, wouldn't you pay that, right? That's already 10, 20 X. So that's the point, okay? So once again, that's the point here. So you wanna aim about $50 cost per application, but more importantly, these are very high quality leads. So again, people always ask, will people fill up this application? Uh, yes, right? Like all of our clients have been doing this uh, funnel for the longest time. Uh, and we have we have fun we have applications like that, right? So this is another funnel, very similar uh, as property as well. And these are all the questions. These are real answers by real leads. Obviously, we have um, removed the the name and the email address for privacy sake. Uh, but if you take a look here, right? So so there there'll be questions like, is this the first time buying a property? So it's yes and no, right? What's your age? What's your age? 34, 35, 43. How soon do you intend to get your next property? Three months, three months, right? So see, all this information helps you to know how to close, how to call this prospect better, okay? And um, this is Darren. So uh, earlier I shared with you um, Darren's funnel and I want you to hear what Darren actually had to say after working with us because last year when Singapore had a lockdown, we call it circuit breaker here. During the circuit breaker, there was no house visiting allowed, which means that all property agents and real estate consultants were not allowed to even visit anybody's house. And therefore, if you cannot even visit people's house, it's so hard, or you cannot even bring people to a show flat or showroom, it's so hard to even close a deal. But because of this funnel, it actually captures people who are ready to buy, people who are serious. He was still able to close property through a simple Zoom call and was able to close multiple deals despite being in a lockdown. So I want you to hear what you have to say. Hi, I'm Darren Ng and uh, I help people to build their property portfolio in Singapore investing in local properties. So in the past, I was really working a lot in uh, full force in the traditional marketing and then also based on referral. And over the years, I just realized that this is going to come and steam up and I had to go into digital platform and that's what he did and I'm just extremely grateful because after he has done the funnel for me and in the past two months during the circuit breaker right I actually achieved a hundred fifty thousand dollars in sales any of you that wants to consider engaging Gabriel I think he's a real deal go for it right he's genuinely can help you in your business I've had the result already and I believe you have the same okay so that's Darren hundred fifty thousand dollars in commission so I think that's easily at least three to four uh, million dollar property deals in two months period uh, through a simple funnel when there was a lockdown in Singapore. So imagine that, right? So so that's why this is powerful. Um, another example of another one of our students. So, so Darren is our client, but this is an example of one of our coaching students. So she came to one of our three-day class and then she took up on our coaching. She, we actually guide her and taught her how to set up everything, every one of these things by herself. Uh, and, uh, you know, she was able to create this. And uh, look at this, first page, second page, third page, same thing, right? Headline, simple video here. Uh, find out if you qualify. Once you click on this, there'll be a pop-up where you ask you where, where you ask you to fill up your email address, and then you bring you to a, a simple form. And once you once you fill up the form, it brings you to a, a, a thank you page. Okay. And I want you to hear what she actually had to say after running this running this campaign or using this funnel for the last ten months, right? I mean, obviously she has closed uh, multiple deals so far. But I want you to hear one of the most important thing, which is not just closing deal, but that the clients actually the prospect that came in from this funnel actually respect and trust her advice rather than those um, you know, random ads that you see online, rather than those PPC ads that you see online uh, where people just treat you as an information counter. So I want you to hear what you have to say. The thing I like is uh, the customer will respect you as though you are the professional, the consultant. Unlike most Facebook where people say, oh, it's crappy leads or the leads actually treat you like information provider. The funnel actually frames us in, in a way that, you know, we are not just salesmen. Because last time what we did was pay per click. So regardless of her or I meeting the leads right in the show flat, the new launch show flat, they all just assume that we just want to sell that show flat, even mm. though we have our framework already back then mm. on how to identify properties. And how many uh, deals have you guys managed to uh, generate from this? Seven deals, about a quarter million we have made in 10 months. All right, so that's uh, Lynn and her, and her son, Edward. 
Um, so I want to very quickly run through with you how this funnel looks like and why it works, right? Like why does it position you as an expert? What are some of the things that you need to take note? Um, and, and so let's go, okay? So this is the first page of uh, Darren's funnel. I'm gonna give you two examples with financial planning as well. Again, you can use this for different industries uh, that you are in as long as you're selling high ticket. So this is how the first page will look like, a simple headline. Now, obviously the headline has to be attractive, right? So um, for example, Darren has this uh, framework to teach people how to upgrade HDB to multiple private properties in Singapore. So generally, way, I mean, the general way to create a good headline is how to and then blank without blank. So how to result without objection that your uh, audience is constantly facing. So an example here will be how to upgrade a HDB to multiple private property. That's the result. Upgrade a HDB, uh, which is a small apartment in Singapore, into multiple private properties in Singapore, right? Private properties are like most Singaporeans dream. Um, using this fast track system without, right? Without a high income job. Okay, because most people think that in order to have multiple private properties, they need to have a high income job. So the whole idea is that you need to have a result and objection. Okay, so headline, and then there is a simple video here where this video actually tells um, Darren's story. Now, there is a reason why most of the application funnel, we use a story video because it actually builds relationship with the viewers, right? Um, when people know about your backstory, when people know why you do what you do, they tend to be more drawn towards you and because they can relate to you, they tend to trust you. These are all the emotional uh, side of things that people don't consider, right? It's not just, you know, when it comes to sales and marketing, again, it's not just logical side, you know, people buy because of emotion, okay? So that's the reason why we have a short video, a, a three minute video that kind of highlights his, uh, his career, highlights his, um, and it's not just highlighting his career as in like, okay, he achieved, uh, you know, this, uh, a, a lot of results or he have, a, he have multiple properties. It, it's not a show off video. It is a relatability video. It's a video that explains his uh, background, how he got into property, why is he serving people right now? Why is he helping people uh, learn how to upgrade his uh, people's HDB to multiple private properties? So people can relate to his, his motive, okay? So uh, at the bottom here is where you give a short bio of him, right? Not too much. And then that's it. Click here to apply to see if you qualify. Now, one thing to take note here is this. I see a lot of property consultant or you know financial consultant, anybody in the industry, they like to put like phone number here or you know some kind of WhatsApp number here. So again, if you want to position yourself as an authority, as an expert, why make it so easy for people to reach you, right? If you are an expert, if you are an authority, shouldn't you always be very busy? So what kind of message are we sending when we put our number here and just letting people know that, hey, you know what, you can reach me anytime. What kind of message are we sending? Do you think people will actually appreciate you uh, or, or will actually respect you? I think the answer is probably very clear. People probably will not respect you because they can reach you anytime. So you realize there's no such thing. There's no other way you can reach. The only way is click on this button and then there's an email address that you can put in here, right? So once you put in your email address, it brings you to the second page where now there's this bunch of uh, forms that you need to fill up in order to submit an application. Okay, and again, once they put in their email address here, they are not considered a lead, right? We will trigger, this is also part of the nurturing process, which is the next step. Uh, we will trigger a, a bunch of email sequence that was that we sent to them, just in case they don't fill up the application, right? Because there will be a point, uh, there will be a part, a percentage of people who fill up the email address here and they do not fill up the form here. So we will, have, we will trigger a series of five emails that, was, that we sent to these people uh, that will help to build and nurture relationship and try to bring them back to the application form, okay? So, uh, but of course, there will be a percentage of people that will just, you know, fill up the entire application and then you know that they are high quality leads. Once that is done, you'll bring them. Uh, so once you fill up every question here, submit application, it will bring you into a thank you page where usually we have a, a, a few value adding video. It is also part of the nurturing process. Uh, or sometimes we have testimonial videos. So to give you an exam another example, this is another one of my clients. She's in the financial industry. Uh, this is how her page looks like, okay? So hers is slightly longer, okay? Uh, but you realize it's, it's almost the same, okay? This is the first page, okay? It's almost the same. So why work with her, a bit about her, what she's offering right now, and then testimonials, right? So this testimony is also optional. Darren does not have any testimonial here, okay? But you still get the job done, all right? Um, and then once you click here, put in your email address, it brings you to the second page. Same thing, right? A form, you realize it's, it's very similar, okay? Just that the questions are different based on the industry, all right? And once people keep submit application, it actually goes to the last page. And for her, she wanted to push more people to a Telegram group. And um, there's also a bunch of other testimonial videos here for people to watch. And these are all great way to kind of nurture and kind of seed your audience because while they are waiting for you to call them, right? They can at least watch some videos, you know, to, to know that you are expert, you know, to, to actually um, see that you know what you're talking about. 
and testimonials also helps to solidify that okay you know you have helped a lot of people before so therefore you know how to help me okay so very simple three simple page uh, again no no phone numbers right there's no other way to reach her there's no contact us there's no you know there's no about us nothing it's just simple button put in the email address so it's, there's only one objective uh, we don't dilute that objective with you know a lot of other things that confuses people so that's it everyone so i hope that that has been uh, a lot of insights and valuable information for those of you who are watching and if you're in high ticket sales this is definitely a funnel that you can use and you can apply now if you're thinking how do you actually build this funnel we are actually developing a new software um, that will have all these funnels built into the software and if you're a software user you actually be able to build this entire thing in you know probably a few uh, minutes because the templates are already in there if you are interested to know more i'll probably put a link in the description uh, and i'll be releasing more information so stay tuned make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on this new software that we're going to be releasing and uh, i guarantee you this software is definitely better than most of the funnel um, building software out there it is two times three times faster in terms of loading speed and all these templates are installed into this uh, software which means that you don't have to build everything from scratch so again we'll let you know more information but let me know if you have gained some valuable insights from this video let me know in the comment section right and let me know if you have any questions i'll be answering every single one of them in the comment section below uh, my channel is still small so that that is uh, definitely a plus point because any questions that you ask any question you ask about digital marketing about how to grow your business I will be able to answer every single one of them because I don't have that much engagement yet and that's a good thing for now. And if you want to know how you can generate two to 300 high quality leads for your business every single month, uh, I've put in some resources in the description below. So that's it. Let me know if you learned something valuable and I really appreciate the early thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. That's all I have for you today. Bye for now.